Hi everyone, so I'm Latasha. If you are new here, nice to see you. Today I'm really excited because I have two hours until I need to go and get Leo from school. So I am going to go to the chariot shops, have a look around, maybe try a few things on. I'm gonna see if I can film. I really am, because that's what I really want to do. I want to film inside the shop. Um, and I'm also gonna maybe try some stuff on, see if I can find some things. Um, but yeah, I thought I would take you with me. So um, I've just redone all of my henna and my blonde, so I'm feeling super fresh, super bright and vibrant. Um, but yeah, so let's go check out charity shops and see what we can find. We have two hours of child free time. So let's go see if we can find anything cool. I'm also going to be taking some things with me, which I'll show you. Um, I've donated three giant bags a week ago, two weeks ago, maybe now. Um, and it was like Christmas decorations, um, kids toys, that sort of thing. So um, I'm going to take another bag with me today and um, then we can go do some shopping. Okay, so I am actually going to end up turning this little alcove into a computer area, <clears throat> um, but I have not got around to it. So all of this stuff here is where I keep the things that I'm going to donate. I'm not donating that stool that's going to my friend's house, but it reminds me, I need to find some, um, what's it called, like a sealer for it, so they can put things on top of it and like wipe it down and stuff. Um, so I need to find that so that I can finish that project off for them. But um, yeah, all this stuff needs to go to the charity shop and I'm just taking like a little bit of a time. So I'm going to choose something to take today and I'm going to drop it off for them. So let's have a look and see what we have in here. I think I might take this bag just because it's already done. Um, it's got all sorts in here, lampshades, bedding, kids things, some scrap fabrics that I don't use, uh, a Santa hat. Um, so there's quite a lot of stuff in here i think i might keep the santa hats for the kids because i have two of them so i think i might keep that so let's get that bag out there it's the bag i'm going to donate today um i got this fabric ages ago and it <laughs> online it looked really nice and when i got it i thought it was really horrible so i've had it for about two years i've never used it um so yeah i'm gonna donate it i'm so out of breath <laughs> Um, but yeah, in here there's a few Christmas decorations. There's my son's old um, nappy bag in there, um, which is still in really good condition. Like these, this was actually like really expensive new, so that should be um, a good one for the charity shops. They'll probably make a bit of money off of that. And um, yeah, so I'm not really sure there's a lampshade and things in here. But um, yes, yeah, so this is the one I'm going to donate today. So I thought I would do a voiceover for this part of the video. So as you can see, I did in fact film. Um, this is the first time I've ever filmed inside of a charity shop, I think. But um, the woman who's like in charge of this one is like really nice. So I just asked her before and she was totally fine with it. Um, and so yeah, I'm filming. So I'm really excited about this. So this is the um, scarf section. Now this shop, I always find some really great scarves in here. Um, if you see any scarves in um, my videos, they tend to be from here, except that black and green one I showed a few hauls ago. Um, but yeah, there's some really nice ones in here, and they're all different colours, a lot of different textures. Um, but yeah, I really love them. Um, I'm probably running out of space to keep buying scarves at this point, but you know... They're only a few pounds each, like one I picked up this time was four pounds, um, but they're usually two pound fifty, three pounds, which is just so reasonable. So here is the Christmas section of the shop. Now I actually donated most of the stuff. This tree here I actually made, and this entire shelf is things I donated last time I was in. Um, the, these decorations I'm showing now, that's actually my business stamp. Um, but yeah, I just, this when I first started my business, I did a stall. And I sold some Christmas things and this was just leftover stock. So I just donated those. And then um, again over here, I'm just looking at some pillows. And this green pillowcase was also one of my donated items. It's actually made of um, recycled plastic bottles from the ocean. Um, but I just didn't use it anymore. So I donated that. 
and these things here were some really cool crocheted pillows now they were only one pound each which is absolutely incredible um so there's a few little knickknacks in this area here then not the best uh, selection in the shop but you do find some really good things sometimes so it's always worth having a little look and they are constantly updating it so this one is actually the um yorkshire cancer research um, i thought this was really nice this is like a vintage uh, little wall decor piece there you can see my basket <laughs> um i thought the color of this glass was beautiful as well it's not really something that i tend to buy and then these were just some um, embroidered, uh, I think, handkerchiefs, which I thought were really nice. Um, but I, you know, I don't need any handkerchiefs, but I thought that these were really pretty. Just some more little trinkets here, some baskets and stuff. Now you do tend to find quite a lot of baskets in the charity shops, um, but these two really didn't call to me at all. I have no idea what this was. I just saw brass and thought I'd check it out. And then there's this horse thing. Now, this is not my style, but I thought the quality of it was incredible. And I'm sure when someone bought that new, it was, you know, quite expensive. So if that's your style, then that is a bargain. But yeah, then I found these uh, vintage plates, which I thought were really um, like pretty, but vintage stuff isn't really my style. So I didn't pick those up. Then here's the mug selection. So I'm quite underwhelmed by the mugs that they had. So I didn't end up really... Um, picking any up they're all quite plain so yeah this is just a quick little overview then we had these vintage style frames now there was six of these in total i think and they were different sizes so i thought that they were really nice not my style again like if you watch my videos you know here's a thumbelina picture and i'm showing this because my mum had this exact one when i was little and here we are to bedding uh, i thought this aztec one was quite cool um, I just thought I could do so many different crafts with that and then on the other side I th there's a floral one which was nice but I didn't I didn't pick that up um here's some like crocheted stuff so this is the floral one I thought was really pretty but um I didn't end up getting it I think that was curtains and here's the handbag selection I haven't ever found any bags in here that I like yet um but yeah they've got quite a lot they've got a lot of purses and stuff so here's a little dumbo one um i thought it was cute because i just made a dumbo wall hanging so i'll pop a picture um and then these i i think someone actually made these to donate because they're all the same pattern but different colors they're only a pound each which i thought was really good if you've got like a little baby and they're they all look brand new so i think someone actually made those purposefully to donate which I thought was really nice. And a lot of people do do that um, with crocheted and knitting things, especially in Ripon. Um, so in here, there is quite a large selection of shoes. Uh, there's three three or four, there's four rails of shoes. Um, this is where I got my knee-high brown boots from in a previous haul. Um, but yeah, most of these, they you know, they're not in my size. I thought these were quite cool. Um, they weren't in my size, and I also don't really ever wear heels. I'm already quite tall, and... Uh, they're just uncomfortable this is actually a dress that i donated it was given to me about two years ago and it's not my style I never wore it so i just handed that over again there wasn't very many dresses in here today now one thing i really struggle with in charity shops is finding trousers so um i was kind of like really on the lookout for them because i don't have very many trousers i like so yeah i'm definitely hunting for those at the moment and here I am in the changing room just trying on a top. Now this top was so, so soft, but I just feel like you could see everything in it. Like you can see the outline of my bra and stuff, and I don't personally like that. So I didn't end up picking it up, but it is a nice top, just not for me. And then here is a cardigan, which I also don't think I bought. I don't think I bought that. So here's a quick little overview of the jewellery section. I did pick up one thing from here. So here's a makeup bag I donated uh it was a gift and it's not for me so um here yes you could see I picked Leo up <laughs> um these I were I was absolutely in love with them I really really wanted them but I didn't end up buying them because they were 10 pounds each and I just didn't want to spend that much money on that particular day so I actually really regret not buying them and then again we have a bunch of these um pastel baby blankets they were really nice really great quality and here I am just looking through the tops. Now, I didn't feel like there was that many tops 
there today. There's usually really great ones in here. And this is the cheapest charity shop to find tops. Like, you can pick tops up in for £1, £2, £3 in here. Um, so it's quite amazing for that. I thought all of these ones were, were more targeted to like an uh, older lady. Maybe, not old, but I would say sort of middle-aged. So older than me. Um, so yeah, I didn't really find anything that was my style here. So these ones are more like um, shirts, dressy shirts, and I really don't have that many shirts. Um, here I am in actually a different shop, trying on a few little bits. So these uh, jeans are from this charity shop, and so is the top. Um, and I really liked this uh, as an outfit. It was really comfortable. I liked the neckline, neckline of the top, and the jeans fit me perfectly as well. Yeah, I like this one. What do you think, Leah? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> you should get it. Very Christmassy. Yeah, you should get it. And clearly you can see Leah agreed that I should get that one. <laughs> so this dress was really, really cute. I thought it was very flattering on my body type. The only problem was it was uh, only a size 12, I think, and it was really tight on my arms. So I didn't end up picking it up, but um, if it was, you know, if it fit my arms better than I would have, because I think it's really nice. Just a bit tight. And here we are. I'm trying on some jeans. But they did have a broken zip. Um, so that was a bit annoying. But they were also a little bit like too short for me. So I wouldn't have bought them anyway. Um, but yeah. As you can see I'm really trying to find some trousers. <laughs> here are some leggings. And I think that they are so unflattering. You can literally see everything. Every lump. Every bump. Uh, not for me whatsoever I thought I would try them but no <laughs> so these are quite cool they have like a little patch on the knee of leather and I actually call these Thanos pants because I feel like it looks like Thanos's chin um if you're a Marvel fan then you know and that's what I feel like it looks like but um I did actually really like them I do like little panels on um jeans and stuff they are a little bit tight but um yeah I thought that they were still nice And here we have some workout leggings, which I am also seriously lacking. All of mine have paint on now, so I can't wear them out anymore. Um, and so, yeah, I was just looking for a few pairs. And these aren't particularly flattering on the belly, but I usually wear like a long top anyway. So, as you can see, it's a pretty big haul. Okay, so I am back home now. I've been out looking at the charity shops for about two and a half hours maybe in total um i only went to a few so how many did i go to i think three or four i didn't get footage in all of them but i did get quite a lot in one of them um so i'm going to end this video here and in my next video i will show you everything that i bought in this one uh, I got quite a lot of stuff. I found some really great things this week. So um, yeah, in my next video, I will do a little haul and I'll show you everything that I bought in this one. So if you would like to see that, then please do like and subscribe, of course, and then um, click the bell icon and you'll get a notification when I upload the next video. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.